This place is called the home of artists. Here, art and culture are nurtured and appreciated all year long through a series of ongoing exhibitions and events. And this week has been dedicated to the traditions, handicrafts and music of Sistan Baluchistan, a province in southeastern Iran. In the old days, people in Baluchistan used to live in tents. And these are their handicrafts. All of them are made out of reeds. These baskets that are for fruit. And these hats, very modern designs. And this is a cup. In the old days, they used to use this to drink water out of. We'll show you a bit about that later. Supposed to keep it cool, and it's um, supposed to give it a special taste as well. Yes. Sistan Baluchistan has its own unique Baluchi music, musical instruments, songs and dances. And this is a Baluchi dance ritual performed with drums and synchronized moves. In the Baluchi culture, music plays an important part in wedding festivals and ceremonies like Eid al-Fitr, the day Muslims end a month of fasting in Ramadan. And many Baluchi songs spring from folklore and tradition. For instance, a Shab Tagi is a song sung by women for more than a week after a baby is born to help the mother forget her labor pains and pray for the newborn's health. These are traditional Baluchi clothes. All this is made by hand. It's needlework and these little mirrors that have been sewn onto it. Very pretty. And girls wear these from when they're little to when they're old. In our own villages, we wear these big scarves, but when we go into the city, we wear a chador. This simply designed tunic costs about $30, but the more intricate designs cost more than $100. The same thing for an adult would cost $850. They're made of silk and women sew them without looking at a pattern. It's all from their imagination. The response has been great in Tehran. We've sold almost everything we brought. These are special handkerchiefs for wrapping presents given to a groom's family from the bride's family. They put shaving equipment and such like in this. And this is what the groom's family put presents in for the bride. These are traditional Baluchi clothes. This one's got beads all over it. And this one has got mirrors sewn onto it. This part is supposed to be a pocket where you put all your money in. But they're very expensive. This tunic and scarf and skirt, I think, cost about $150. This has got needlework on it. And the people, the Baluchi people, still wear these today. They're chill from, all, from childhood all the way up to adulthood. We've tried to gather together all the best needleworks from different parts of Sisan Baluchistan, from Iran Shah, Sarawan, Khosh, and Chabahar, because each place has different styles and colors, and we've tried to bring the price down as much as possible. These remind me of Indian and Pakistani clothes. As you know, uh, Sistan Baluchistan is in the southeast of Iran and it's near Pakistan, so maybe they were influenced by the cultures of Pakistan, the fashions of Pakistan, and this one is just absolutely gorgeous. All handmade needlework. These are scarves. 